Hey you guys, it's Catherine Press Library and today I'd like to start the video by announcing that this summer, 2021, we're starting our summer reading program on June 14th and the theme is Reading Colors Your World. Alright, now let's move on to our craft with Mother's Day Lollipop Bouquet. We're going to start off our paper. Next is our small flower pot or a small cup. Our foam ball. Our tissue paper. Next is our scissors. So, and our safety is always first, so please have a parent or guardian assist you in using these as they can be sharp and hard to handle. Next thing we'll need is our marker and our toothpicks. And last but not least, our lollipops. If you didn't catch all that, don't worry, I wrote it down all for you. First thing we're going to start off with is making our Mother's Day card. And I made mine super small, so I folded it up a few times because I wanted it to fit in the bottom of my pot. You can do the same or you can just leave it big. And you don't have to use decorative paper like I did, you can just use plain paper. Just put in a nice little note for your mom to read later. grab some scrap paper that you had left over but if you didn't have any paper left over just use a new paper and have it pretty long and then cut it and we're gonna use that small little piece and then we're gonna fold it in half but don't press on it just kind of have it circular like this and we're gonna cut the ends a little bit to create like a M or a W grab your marker and write a nice message for your mom. I wrote thank you mom. Um, you can write I love you mom or anything you think they would like to hear from you. Now you're gonna grab your toothpick and wrap it around the ends of your paper and you don't need glue or tape or anything it should be able to hold up once you put it in your bouquet. to grab our small pot or cup or whatever you decided to use and I'm going to put my note at the very bottom for her to see and then I'm going to grab my tissue paper and I'm going to cut it in half because I don't need that much and I'm going to cut that in half and then cut that half in another half and then put it into my cup to make sure that my foam ball fits right inside. Once you're done deciding all of your tissue paper is nice and well in there, you can start putting your foam ball inside. And then let's place those toothpicks right into our ball. That way we don't place our lollipops anywhere we don't need it to be. I told you we didn't need any glue or tape. Last thing we're going to do is put our lollipops inside. I picked a certain type of colors and flavors that I know she would love. And it's going to be really hard to try and fit the whole stick in. So I cut mine in half to put half of it in. And you're just going to do the same for all the rest. If you're able to fit the whole stick inside, more power to you. But if you need to cut it just like how I did, I would suggest doing that. It's a lot easier. And this is how it should look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and I hope you guys have a happy Mother's Day. Now let's move on to the book recommendation for this video. The first book I'm going to suggest for you is Pudding by Julie Murphy. This is the sequel to Dumplin'. Pudding is about Millie skipping fat camp to pursue a more interesting dream and to try and get a romantic relationship with her crush. 
This story takes unexpected twists and turns, all while still implying girl power. Our next book is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, created by Jose Wedden. This series starts with Buffy, Sander, Willow, and Robin. In this volume, you get a new member to join the crew. They all run into some trouble, and with Buffy doing her own thing elsewhere, it's hard to see the silver lining for them all to get through it. information on these books or books like this, please visit our website. There you'll find all types of resources we offer in all our Riverside County branches near you. Thank you for watching!